What's good? Who is it? Oh, it's just y'all. Come on in. Let's, Let's gather. gather. What's going on, everybody? Um, we did miss a few days, but it was for good reason. That's because it's your boy, Ayo Al's yeah, birthday. birthday. Well, um, actually, my birthday was uh, on August 11th. I turned 31. Um, we did a little special um, day that night and then turn around and my dad's birthday was yesterday. Shout out to my dad. Woo woo. He turned 52. Um, so yeah, you know, it's Leo season, Leo nation. You already know what it is when it comes to that. So we just wanted to get on with you guys and let you all in on how we actually spent my birthday night. Um, yes, yes. It was really lit. I was surprised and uh, Tad and Tony knows I hate surprises, but I will say he outdid himself. <laughs> Yes, you guys. So uh, what we did, <coughs> excuse me here. So what we did, uh, we got a limo service for Wednesday night, and when the um, we used tell them the limo service, but yes, yes, <laughs> we used lifestyle limousine service, and um, you'll be able to find them. They're located in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they picked us up in Sanford actually, and then we went to Raleigh to the melting pot up there on Wake Forest Road. You can Shout find out them. to the yep. Mountain Pot. It was delicious. It was very good. We had a four course meal and we were there after closing time. So With no uh, rush. I just have to say, you know, while I'm doing this, thank you so so much. Um, my night was everything. It was amazing. I appreciate all the work you put into making it special for me. Um, y'all, let me tell you, they rolled out the red carpet and everything yes, they for your did board. Out the red carpet. And if you guys like. You can come onto our YouTube channel page at Official Tata Tony, and also uh, our couples page is AJ and Antonio. So you can see, um, we will be posting a few clips of what all happened that night. Um, uh, again, shout out to the limousine service, shout out to the restaurant. Everything was A1. Like, I'm telling you, it was everything. Um, and then, you know, we just want to kind of get into, I just want to kind of get into what all happened, who celebrated with me, how special everything was, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of the type of people where I do so much for other people, I don't focus on myself. Exactly. So when somebody actually takes the time and wants to do something special for me like that, it really, really touches me. So... I, it wouldn't be right if I didn't give props what props would do. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. There were so many people. Well, there was just uh, six of us. It was me, you, your cousin Anya. Okay, Then we yeah. had D, Tip, and Keyshawn. Yeah. Yes. So, um, I do thank everybody for spending the night with uh, that night with me um, that could. Now, with that being said, um, let's go into how this all played out. Yes. So, I'm sitting at work because I do work from home. Um, I decided to work on my birthday because, you know, what's better than getting a coin, making, running up the bag, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not going to miss work, um, especially during a weekday. So I said, okay, I get off at 4.30 anyway, might as well go ahead and run this bag up. So I'm at work, you know, I'm kind of bored, but everybody's showing me love on my social media handles. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Alfred L. Evans Jr., um, Instagram, King Alfred underscore 811 Snapchat King Alfred 811 Yo like yo like y'all was showing your boy love I appreciate it thank you for that um so it helped me pass the time away um so I'm sitting here just trying to figure out okay I'm ready to go I'm ready for everybody to start meeting up I'm anxious as fuck because I do not like to just be sitting for a while I like to be out doing stuff being out and about so um, whenever Antonio, I mean, when Tata Tony got home that day, he got off early, so I'm excited as hell. And I, I, you know, I suspect that he has some stuff up his sleeve. He hard-headed as hell. I told this man I hate. I just absolutely hate a surprise. Like, I am not for a surprise. I like to That's know. Surprises. I like to be in the know, you know? So, um, you know, he, we rolled in town. I'm trying to find a pair of pants. And instead of this man telling me we had a deadline, a time deadline to meet. I did. I said seven o'clock. Negative. Seven so, <laughs> so he wasn't really giving me no info. So I'm riding around trying to find me the perfect pair of pants to wear. 
And lo and behold, I couldn't find shit. So there I just was had to nowhere. Right. I had to nothing. use what I could find. Um because my birthday outfit did not come till today. I mean until yesterday, excuse me. So um and it's fly as fuck, but I probably have to wear it on a different occasion. Uh, but yeah, so he got home, we getting you know, we run we riding around, can't find my pants. So I said, fuck it, we're going home. I'm going to wear what the fuck I got. We got there, and I heard a call, and it was some guy saying something, something. You know, then Tony was like, yeah. Because his name popped up on the damn radio. You know how you're, uh, when, you, when you answer a phone, it pops up on your radio? It said, Paul Limo Driver. And I didn't even shout see that. Paul. I didn't see, shout out to Paul. Paul was a phenomenal. Um, so I didn't even see that though. I, what it was was I heard him say, "Is this supposed to be a surprise?" And he was like, uh, "Yeah." So I'm like, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> and then he told he texted me earlier that day about uh, getting a car, and he think, "See, I'm an observer." Other few days before, I didn't have planned all this stuff a day before. Right, and I was on it because when he sent something about a car, I was like, "What kind of car is this fool finna get?" You know, like, "Man, come on, man!" Now, <laughs> but he did. Like, it was dope. Uh, the limo pulled up. Um, Red carpet. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have to act surprised. I really was genuinely surprised. I knew a limo was coming, and we had to hear him get dressed and stuff before he got there. But, like, the whole experience was just everything. They rolled the red carpet out. People were just um, out there. The limo was beautiful. My cousin ended up coming right as we were boarding. Now, here's the funny part. So, we go pick up my brother and my sister-in-law, Dean Keyshawn. And lo and behold, we're waiting on my cousin Tip. Tip. She decides to be late. Tip is always usual. late. Crazy ass. So her, <laughs> I told her, I said, you can't be part of the entourage if we're going to be late for engagements. Lord. Like, how you going to make us we late? We weren't even fashionably late. We, we, we were late. Listen. Leos are known for late. Like, you know, I, I give late. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of late. But it's my function. How the fuck are you making us late? Because you ain't on time. Okay. So we sitting in a limo waiting, waiting, and waiting. Whole time, y'all, Paul has to stay. <laughs> Paul has oh, to stand Paul, outside Paul. waiting on each person who was entering the limo. So as we're waiting on her, Paul standing outside. <laughs> I know he's like, damn, Shout where's out. she at? <laughs> Shout out to Paul. Yes, he was I know phenomenal Paul was phenomenal. So, um, she ended up coming, y'all. She was like, I was like, where are you at? She was like, I'm up here, turn in. I look up and she flying like a bat out of hell with the warning lights on, coming in to get in this <laughs> She limo. was not missing the ride. And it was it was so hilarious because <laughs> she had that motherfucking car floating on two wheels. Warning lights on and all, but she got there. Um, so we we rode up to Raleigh, North Carolina, um, to the melting pot. Uh, they were so friendly, the staff was so helpful. They greeted us at the door, yeah. It was dope. They gave me a birthday shot. You know, I'm not even supposed to be drinking alcohol like that, so I didn't drink it all, I drank half of it, but um, it was good. It was it was dope. Uh, we had the three course meal, yeah, and it was, I mean, each. Each section of the meal was just absolutely Delicious. just dope. I mean, it was good. So when we left there, um, I thought everything was pretty much over. Everybody's sleepy. We getting old, you know what I mean? Like it, it ain't no whole lot of I'm finna be very. And much it was Wednesday night. Oh no, Wednesday night. You know, I'm I'm used to being in the bed. You know, I'm not gonna front. No cap. So I'm a little sleepy. So uh, I, we realized that. Tatty Tony left the gifts at the house. I didn't get to open anything at right, the house. I forgot about the house. But shout out to my brother. He slid me some money. You know, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of birthday blessing. Even though I'm 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 prideful as fuck. I will turn it away. But I'll still be thankful for it in the long run. But he was not having it. He told me I had to take it. So I took it. Um and then I get home and Tatty Tony gives me my gifts. Y'all. Now he, what were they? He went all out. Baby boy went all out. <laughs> Shout out to B. Small. She's a, a trip. So I opened up my first gift. It was an Apple Watch. Um, I have been wanting one for a while now, uh, especially because I've been on my fitness journey and he has been definitely um, listening and paying attention to what I'm saying because I did not expect them to get that. 
Uh, then he also got me a set of AirPods, something I've also said I wanted. Um, I got two thousand dollars. You know, a big bag. When you get that BDE and you got that BDE, you know, you get <laughs> gifts like that. I, you know, you get the gifts like that. <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm just joking. No, nah, but yeah, he, he definitely. Uh, oh, and then I also he also got me a Delta Nine um, cartridge for my vape pen. Yes, Delta Nine. And for nine. those of y'all who do not know, Delta Nine is the legal factory. Uh, excuse me, not factory. Lab made form of THC, um, and it definitely does work. Like it gets it came you high. right from LA, and it's wedding cake. And I'm telling y'all, the shit is delicious. Matter of fact, I want some too. Here you go. That's, yeah, <laughs> we've been puffing on that while we're talking to y'all or whatever. Yeah, tell them about what happened after the gifts. Oh yeah, what the gifts? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the gift after the gifts. We got the gift after the. I, we got the gift after I, the gifts. I definitely gifts. unwrapped one of the best gifts. <laughs> we got the, the gift night. after the gifts. You know. So. After that, um, that was pretty much the end of that Wednesday night. Tomorrow we're going to a bar crawl. His Harry Potter theme. So if you're Harry Potter fans, then uh, definitely check that out. It's and, tomorrow and night. And definitely, you guys tune in tomorrow because. We will be doing the podcast while we're out and about doing the bar crawls, giving you a little bit of um, opinion <coughs> or um, our version of what's going on and how dope it is or, you know, how good we like the um, bars that we hot back up there. So definitely tune in. Just we'll probably even do a little vlog. Yeah. We, yeah. We definitely can do that. Definitely. And we'll even do that for you guys. So you guys can check that out while we're up there. And see what it's given because the last one we went to was really fun too. It was the '90s bar crawl. Oh yeah, I should have vlogged, was vlogged that. But yeah, that was lit. Uh, definitely check out the the bar crawl vlog. That's that. That's definitely going to be lit. Um, and then I just want to go into a little bit of how I surprised AOL with this gift and with the limo and all that. Um, just so there's, in, there's anybody out there who does want to, um, you know, just try to be like uh, us and just try to do that i'm gonna teach you guys how and so oh this is <laughs> i really so was shady. not trying to be, no i'm really trying to give y'all some real that's, that's advice some real shady, <laughs> i'm trying to give y'all some advice because i know you know y'all listen so <laughs> i'm just trying to give y'all some advice um but the way that i did it i just like i said everything was a day beforehand um and then you know with the limo ride especially being a day beforehand they want you to pay the full amount up front so I, that's what i had to do and then with everything else um, i pretty much was just texting everybody that was going to be involved and letting them know hey this is what's going on um me at the house at seven o'clock and so uh that's pretty much what happened with that i was gonna get some edible arrangements but then they weren't going to be shipped to the house in time <sighs> i wouldn't do so much and then with the apple watch and the airpods um i bought the apple watch from uh, Walmart, I got for a Walmart pickup the day before, and then the AirPods I got them off of Amazon. They had just came in time too, because I was worried that they, that they weren't going to come. And the Delta Eight, like I said, they came from LA, um, from an organic shop in LA, and it's really, really good. It's the wedding cake. Delta Nine. Oh yeah, Delta Nine. My bad. It's Delta Nine, and it's really, really good. And um, so I'm, I might buy some organic Delta Nine nuggets from there too. You know, you know. And they give you they even give you a card with it so if you get pulled Ooh, we over. Gotta make sure we got the sauce for them nuggets. Hey, we're gonna have sauce for it. Oh yeah. What I'm kind of dip, sauce? I'ma dip them over. The what? The nuggets. What nuggets? The nuggets from Oh, oh my god, do you I'm a little dumb, I'm slow. And I'm high. It's a joke, it's a metaphor. You said nuggets, so I'm like, okay. I'm about to say, you know, now that people talk about sauce on the money, they want something different. No, hell no. Nah. to get you to clarify that. Let me okay, let me clarify you guys, everyone out there listening. Um, the only drug of choice for me has it's to be It's THC and that Delta motherfucking no. Okay. Okay. There's not going to be no discrepancy or... We don't uh, have discrepancies. Right, period. Because we're <laughs> going to be completely transparent. I'm not doing nothing. Ooh, it's about to rain, you guys. But we, and like I said, I barely even drink alcohol anymore. You know, that's just um, for health reasons. Uh, like I said, we will go into that one episode. Um, but right now we are talking about the birthday, the awesome birthday that I had. Big Leo shit, big, big Leo shit. shit. You already know. <laughs> Finish your story. I got them right where the hell I was at. 
basically you was like, oh, I'm gonna house. buy some nuggets from the duck place. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be really, really good. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna come in time, so I was worried about that. I just thought, you know, because actually, um, he does have another gift coming, but it's coming the 18th to through the 30th and so like i said i didn't think the gifts were gonna come in time because that one isn't coming keep in time coming, shit. I, so, keep hey, let coming. me tell you one thing about it and two for show sure, i love me a gift coming at my door you hear me period and that's on what period huh. yes y'all comma and Ter- all of it Yes, yes, yes. But the birthday extravaganza was definitely great. It was definitely fun. We were in the limo. Everybody was, it was so fun that everybody was knocked the fuck out um, just about on the way back. But uh, it was a great time. We had a great time. We were drinking shots. Well, we had a, damn, what was that drink I had? It was called a mango, a mango, a mango enormous. It was called something. But the shit was good. It was great. It was fun. So, um, yeah, like, once again, I will say he did an amazing job. It was everything. And, you know, we're not quite done. I'm the type of person that celebrates my birthday however the fuck long I feel. Especially on a weekend. <laughs> so, uh, we got some things that we're going to do today, which is why we went ahead and made the podcast early. Um, so, we can make sure we keep you guys tuned in. Um, so, I wanted to just, uh, before I go... Anybody in the Leo Nation celebrated a birthday, about to celebrate a birthday, if your birthday is today. Yes, happy, happy birthday. motherfucking birthday. It's your motherfucking birthday. Turn up. Do turn not up. let nobody deter you from turning up on your fucking day. Don't let nobody make you do nothing that you don't want to do for and your that's day. Period. Y'all know how us Leos can be. No, do what you want to do this and don't fuck change your us. fucking plans. Exactly. So, um, yeah, like, at the end of the day, I don't know how old some of you are. I turned 31 myself. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of it. You know, my knees get to pop in here and there sometimes. And, no, I don't be on these motherfuckers. So I don't even know where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Them knees get to pop. Get to pop and crack with the shit. Like so, port rhymes, okay? <laughs> um, I don't... Um, I don't feel like, you know, you're limited by your age. I feel like you're as young as you feel. So, yeah, you know, you will see me on more videos. We do plan on doing some more YouTubes and stuff. I cut the fuck up. I'm a whole fool. That's who I am. I can't turn that yes. off. Um, I can control it, but I can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, shout out to y'all, man. And then and all those supporting us, I just want to say thank you again, too. Uh, we do have some other business ventures coming for y'all. We very, just waiting on soon. our damn equipment. You it's know how the damn shipment stuff. Be. Very soon. Very soon. But yeah, shout out to everybody that love us. We love you back, baby. And yes, this, we love you. Thanks for the support. This is your boy AOL signing out today. Y'all have a good Friday. It is Friday the 13th. Y'all asses better be out here and be in careful. And this is your boy Tata Tony. And we'll see you guys until next time on The, the Gather. Gather.